Hello guys, welcome back to Victoria 2 Let's Play. So, let's see if we can get into the game again. Should be working, right? I hope so. God, I hope so. I just uh, actually recorded the first episode, but then I realized at the end of the episode I forgot to actually turn on the recorder. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just gonna alt tap to check if it's actually recording. It should record now. Damn, that's annoying. Ugh, oh well. Right, so another Victoria 2... Um, Victoria 2, let's play. And uh, as you probably guessed it from the title, we're going to play as, well, the Confederates. Um, we are going to start at the Grand Campaign start map mode here, and uh, yeah. Try and get the Confederates up and running, well, sort of as soon as possible. Right, so I haven't played Victoria 2 since our Russian let's play, so I'm very rusty in this game. Uh, but uh, we're gonna try what we can here. Now, as well, I just said, I di already did play the first episode, but I'm going to restart, of course, now, so you can get the first episode as well. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah, let's try we can maybe colonize and uh, grab this stuff here before anyone else grabs it. Uh, let's see here. Not sure how many you're supposed to have running at the same time, but uh, I guess that's fine. And, uh, yeah, technology, we're going to start with medicine because it has a invention that gives us more pop growth here, which is very good. Bonk. And uh, pop, 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 pop. Population, we have these focuses. Uh, 0 2, which a way where we can boost the state with various things, and we're going to try and boost the southern states. First with clergymen, up to, I think it's 2% you want as clergymen, or is it 4? 2 or 4, I can't recall. Anyways, we're going to boost Georgia, and we're going to boost Virginia as well. I think they will also join the Confederate States. Clergymen, uh, yeah that. Doc. On pause. And we're going to see here what we can do. Some tariffs. Some taxes as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, not pay our navy anything. <laughs> okay, that's fine. On pause. Oh god, it's annoying. Oh, the second Great Awakening. Ah, I just read all this stuff here. No, here we go again. <laughs> By the mid-1830s, a wave of religious zeal was sweeping across the USA, driven by charismatic preachers who called for the faithful to return to the original teachings of the Bible and lead upstanding moral lives. The movement would spawn several new Protestant sects, led to debates and schisms within established sects over points of theology and ritual, and reinforced the power of influence of Christian teachings among the lower and middle classes of the American people at a time when religious fervor in Europe was decreasing. The spirit sieges the imagination. Texas. Now, Texas is being attacked by Mexico here, or the other way around. Uh, last I checked, let's see here, we can't join yet. Uh, but what I did in the first episode, which I didn't record for some reason, and now we're doing the first episode again, I could intervene and then I helped Texas beat the Mexicans, and then, uh, yeah, to a status quo. And uh, then everything was fine. They joined the US after that. Uh, so. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> Maintenance. <sighs> oh, right. Southern manoralism. Right? There was a land of cavaliers and cotton fields called the Old South. Here in this pity world, pretty world, gallantry took its last bow. Here was the last ever to be seen as knights of their ladies' fair, of masters and of slave. Look for it only in books, for it is no more than a dream remembered, a civilization gone with the wind, gone with the wind. The agrarian economy of the southern United States in many ways resemble the Roman villa system or medieval feudalism, with local economic and political power concentrated to the villas and manors of local land-holding aristocrats, and in this is, and in this it differed from the more industrialized North. A different sense of life would not in itself enough to trigger a civil war, had at some point been one foundation upon which the distinction, distinctions between Dixies and Yanks were built, of master and slave. I don't know, of master, I guess. We are trying to, well, pop out as the Confederates somehow. 
down the line. Uh, we'll see how fast we can do that. Um, yeah. But uh, right, uh, combine. Let's see here. Uh, and uh, if someone, oops, can recall the correct way, <laughs> whoops, of uh, how to make your armies in terms of uh, sizes here, like how how many infantry, cavalry, and artillery do you want? Please tell me. I can't recall. <laughs> As I said, I have played Victoria 2 since our Russian campaign. Many, many moons ago. Um, yeah. Okay, we have 14 out of 14 brigades. What? Poor citizens. Ah, I see. Trade. Exported timber, fabric, tobacco. Imported tea, fruit and wool. I see. I see. And uh, now we're just trying to wait until we can maybe join the Texas, or Texas here, to a status quo, and then let them join us somehow. Mm -hmm. I guess we could maybe boost the speed to max a bit. Now, mm, we have some factories going bankrupt, but they are up in, in the north, and we don't want to. I could destroy them. Should I destroy them? I don't want to boost the north, I want to boost the south, but mm, I don't know. We'll leave it be for now, I guess. Production. Now we are, um, right now the Democratic Party, we have free trade, interventionism, moralism, limited citizenship and jingoism. Uh, whoops. Holy site disturbed. In Goodland. Colonial policies. Who gives a hoot about their religion? A hoot? War between Chile and Bolivia. Oh, right, we can do something here. Oh, they already took this? What the hell? Bonk. That was fast. <laughs> hmm. Oh well. Uh, unemployment, North Carolina. <gasps> Wisconsin? become a state? Yes. Granted statehood. Another astounding victory for the US today, as it has now become clear that Wisconsin will, as it has been expected for some time, be taken up into the American patrimony with full rights of national statehood. One question that still remains to settle is, however, the issue of slavery. Slavery can be extended within our country, and the question on the table is whether we wish to extend the institution to Wisconsin or not. I suppose we want to, since we want to play as um, the Confederates. Oh, Oregon. Uh, yeah. Okay, can we intervene in this war yet? Mm, yes, status quo. On Texas, right? Yes. <coughs> Let's see here. Go! Winfield Scott and Zachary Taylor. Yes. I'm coming, Texas! Shop, shop. Crush. Our house rearranged. Splat, splat, splat. What is this? Status quo. Proceed. There we go. Very easy wall. Texas should... Maybe join? Should maybe. Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad was an informal network run by abolitionists of varying creeds and colors, and dedicated to helping slaves escape from the southern slave states to freedom in the north. We have every reason to believe that St. Louis has recently developed into a hotbed of railroad activity. We could put pressure on local politicians to combat their activities, but only at the risk of stirring up abolitionist sentiments in the north. Shut it down. Right, come on Texas. Join me. No? Iowa. Welcome. Extend slavery. What? Last time you were asked to join me. Hmm. That's odd. Hello? I don't know. What? American Anti-Slavery Society. Founded in 1833, the American Anti-Slavery Society was an organization on the forefront of the American abolitionist movement. 
with notable members such as Frederick Douglass and Abby Kelly Foster. The Society organized meetings, speakings, and even published a weekly newspaper between 1840 and 1870, all with the aim of abolishing slavery in the United States. The Society has now opened a charter in Pittsburgh. We could attempt to prevent the charter from forming, but that could be perceived as an assault on our Republican traditions. Leave them be, suppress. Hmm. I don't suppress them. Go away. Prices rise. Ooh, die. Hmm. Ottoman Empire expands. The Great. This is the Second Great Awakening. Hmm. Texas. I'm very disappointed that you haven't joined me. Restore mm -hmm. academia. Traditional academia, where it has nothing. Okay, nah, let's not. Hmm. I'm confused. Blame the main on Spain? Hmm. Maybe. Just not right now. Hmm, 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 hmm. hmm. Texas, Texas, Texas. Why are you not joining me? Very disappointed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very disappointed. So spending up administration, education, <laughs> fine. Washington. Yes. Yoink. Oh. What's this? No. Texas. For Pete's sake. Why won't you do it now? <coughs> Protected by truce, causes belly, blah blah blah. Mm. Oh. Wait, what? Eh, uh, Texas. I guess. Will that make you join me? Mm. You didn't need a, you didn't need an alliance in my other episode. Copperheads. The Copperheads were a group of Democrats in the northern United States who, during the Civil War, opposed the war and favored a peace settlement with the South. The moniker came originally from Unionists like likening them to poisonous snakes, but it soon struck home with the Copperheads themselves. While there is no war yet, there is staunch resistance to abolitioni abolitionism within some Democratic circles in New York. Stepping up the local political campaigning could probably neutralize them but only at the cost of offending southern sentiments. With more important concerns, debate them at every opportunity. Eh. Whoops. Aha, here we go. Texas applies for statehood. Yesterday morning, we received a petition from the Texas Congress requesting statehood in the United States. A state constitution has been submitted, along with maps defining the state's territorial boundaries. Common opinion seems to hold it at a foregone conclusion that we will accept this petition for statehood and forever join Texas into our glorious republic. Yes. Yoink. Extend. Sweet. There we go. There we go. Now we just have this to deal with. But once oh, the developed empire, one direct impact of the religious revival of the USA in the early 19th century could be the explosion of the number of voluntary, voluntary organizations organized to help improve society by tackling perceived social or moral problems in society providing comfort to the less fortunate, or promoting self-help via education. Dubbed the Benevolent Empire by historians, these organizations help provide a community in infrastructure for society rapidly expanding in numbers and being transformed by new economic forces for the betterment of society. Sure. Now, um, hmm. oh, here. Decisions. Manifest destiny. To bring civilization from coast to shining coast has always been the grand mission of a great republic. Let the eagle spread its wings. Yeah, but we need uh, in, in um, a tech called romant romanticism, romanticism, and uh, then we get some calls on a bunch of stuff, and we'll do that after medicine here. Mm -hmm. So I think oh, they're all going bankrupt. That's fine, right? I guess it's in the northern states. Uh, coronation of Queen Victoria. Okay. Fine. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. 
Um, here, Romanticism. More prestige, but most of all, Manifest Destiny. Yoink. The American-Mexican War, was that before or after the... Um, Civil War? I can't recall. Oh, I don't know. Recall. <laughs> uh, Michigan. Extend? I guess. The slavery debate. The one issue that the founding fathers of a great nation were never able to answer conclusively was the question concerning the status of slavery within the Union. This inflamed debate has only gained traction in the years since the revolution, and it is presently the single most important issue on our country's political agenda. Some radical southerners feel that there is no possible compromise to be found on the issue, and that succession is the only alternative to being dominated into emancipation by the central power in Washington. Should a Senate ever be in the position to force political reform in the South, a 40% liberal upper house, we can be certain that it will not, not happen without opposition. We can expect this issue to linger for some time. Yes? Aha, we have uh, a bunch of things here. The Trail of Tears. The Trail of Tears is the English rendition of the Cherokee name for the forced relocation of the greater Cherokee nation from its homelands in the southeastern United States, Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, etc., to a newly established Indian territory in Oklahoma. By the Indian Removal Act of 1830, enacting this decision lies within our prerogative. <laughs> All pops, Cherokee, will, blah blah blah, be moved, gain course. I guess. I don't know. House gag ruled. The seemingly irresolvable debate over slavery threatens to tear a country apart. We were to introduce a gag rule in the House of Representatives, barring bills on the slavery issue from being presented to the House, we could hope to at least alleviate some of the worst tensions. We will lose one consciousness across the board, but don't we want consciousness to happen? So the Civil War will trigger? I'm not sure. Kansas-Nebraska Act. By enacting the Kansas-Nebraska Act, we will effectively repeal the Missouri Compromise of 1820 and allow public sovereignty to determine whether slavery should or should not be allowed in the former colony of Louisiana and the territories presently created out of it. Abolitionists will resent us for it, and it might be necessary to prevent the sundering of our union. Uh, Maryland, Mississippi lose consciousness, they gain consciousness in other things. I'm not so sure if I want this or not. Mm. I want consciousness, don't I? Or what? Mm. I'm not sure. Hmm. Lose, gain. I don't know. Sure? We'll wait with the house gag rule, I guess. Uh, Lord of Texas. Unit. Unitaris. What? Unitarianism. Unitarianism in America. The rise of numerous sects within Protestant Christianity in the USA in the early 19th century would create an environment for further theological speculation. One of the most influential movements to arise from the from this would be the would be American Unitarianism, emphasizing the role of reason in understanding theology and thus rejecting the concept of the Trinity and the inherent goodness of humanity and its capabilities capability for improvement because of reason, Unitarianism would become very influential among middle and upper class populations in the northeastern USA and encourage several Movements of social improvements from public education to abolitionism. Faith and reason can be reconciled to improve humanity. Okay, the liberals gain consciousness. I see. What is this? Clay and Douglas Draft. Oh, pause a second. Senators Henry Clay and St Stephen. 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 Uh, a. Douglas have presented a draft proposal for the compromise on the slavery issue centered around the premise of public so sovereignty as the determined for slavery or ab abolitionism in the territories. By supporting the draft proposal, we could calm tensions over the slavery issue at least for some time. Uh, Do we want to postpone it or not? I don't know. The American Methodist ep uh, Epis Episcopal Church, established in 1860, no, 16, as by African-American members of the Methodist community of Philadelphia in 
the 1830s and 1840s, the AME Church would rapidly expand its membership among both free and slave populations in the United States during the era of religious revival, providing a spiritual outlet for the African American community completely under their own control and uh, direction, and a new platform for challenging the continued practice of slavery in the Union. God our Father, Christ our Redeemer, man our brother. African American blue, no gain one consciousness. Okay. Interesting. So is it 4 or 2 percent we want here? I can, please tell me, I can't recall. I could, I guess, look at my old... Um, our old uh, Russia campaign to look. Uh, that would be boring. Please tell me. <laughs> Can I uh, get... Uh, how do we look at... Uh, oh, what now? Border ruffians. Grim news. What is this? The flames lick the log cabins and wooden houses, throwing a queer orange glow up the starry night sky, only slightly obscured by the plumes of smoke billowing up from the town. He rides down Main Street with strange shadows dancing about him as he goes. Come out, come out, wherever you are, he screams. Far away in the city, gunshots echoing across the screams of dying men. Border ruffians, intent on making Minnesota a slave state, have crossed the border into Moorhead and raided a small outlying settlement in the territory. Grim news. Stop them. Life raiding pop militancy. And so, uh, I don't know. Minnesota. Now I was looking for what you call it resources. Uh, major discovery. Sweet. Oh, I should probably have read that. <laughs> Dixie. African American. Texan. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Native American miner. I see. Mm -hmm. No, I was looking for. Whoops. Palmerston Botanical Expedition. Yes, and an expedition. Recruitment focus, crises, relations, civilization level, migration, party loyalty, supply limit. I'm looking for. Oh, RTO, right. That's it. I think. Yeah. Can we get the... No, okay. Okay, we have a lot of cotton, obviously. Some coal. Grain. Uh, what is this again? Oh. Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret society dedicated to promoting perceived southern interest in the United States about the expansion of slavery. The Knights of the Golden Circle have established a charter, no, a chapter, in Montgomery. Could attempt to suppress the society, but that would be perceived as an assault on a republican traditions by the local populace. Leave the knights. Uh, I'm looking for the resource. I think it's dyes here, right? No sulfur, but where can I see it here? Mm, oh, here, right. I see. Why can't I get a map of uh, different colors here? And RTO output. Oh well, steel. Was it fruit? Okay, pretty much just cotton down here. <laughs> Major discovery. Bacteria. Pop growth. Border ruffians. Oh, not again. Infrastructure. Mm. Zero, zero, zero. Mm. We could build railroads. Let's see, we have some, what, railroad here, Charlotte, can we get up to, let's see, expand here, here, <gasps> oh, we can't, infrastructure's bad, how do we get better infrastructure, I forgot, I forgot, oh, Horace Man. Politician and lawyer Horace Mann began his reforms of the educational system of Massachusetts. His system of schools became a model for the entire United States. You are n you can never be too educated. Prestige, plurality, and research points. Yes, please. Mm. Expand. Railroad, railroad, railroad. We want it all. I guess. I don't think I can force uh, factories, build factories, nope. Oh, newspapers. Interesting. Oh, 
coronation of Queen Victoria. That's old. Old news. Okay, now my phone is beeping again. I hope that my recording hasn't stopped, then I will be really pissed. <laughs> Anyways, we have to cut. And pause. Right. No, wait. Yeah, let's get romanticism first. And maybe get manifest destiny. Unemployment. How can I... If I can't build... I guess I can, I can encourage... Uh, capitalists in states. I guess they would build factories for me. Maybe. Maybe not. Bankrupt. Mm. Anyways, uh, please tell me if I should do this or let the consciousness rise or if I want to delay the civil war a bit. I think the civil war started in 1864? 62? 63? Something around there. Hmm. Yeah. But, uh, uh, let's see here. Romanticism. Pop. Washington. I don't want to boost the north. Boost the south. Here. Some railroads. There we go. And now... Aha! Manifest destiny. To bring civilization from coast to shining coast has always been the grand mission of our great republic. Let the eagle spread its wings. Uh, influence go down with, with Mexico a lot. All pops gain two consciousness. We gain a bunch of cores. Fuck. Do we still have a truce with you? Declare war. Acquire core. Hmm. What? When we add the war, this war. Ugh. Acquire, but don't we want all of this at the same time? Do we want this? Hmm. Chief, we gain ten. Oh, I can only do one at a time. What? Seems odd. Oh well, I won't do it right now. Tech. Army, mm, engineer, fortifications, defense, plans. Oh, I forgot what is the best thing to take. Moral, morale, moral, artillery. Mm. It's all thirty-six here. Yeah, commerce as well. Clean coal. Why not? 1840, I see. Mm. Let's boost our army. Muscle loaded rifles. Sure. Right, need to cut. So, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.